good morning. So I literally just woke up and I wanted to film this clip because I make sure to get two glasses of water as soon as I wake up. Water is so important in the morning to flush the system. Sometimes I put lemon in it if I really want that super astringent factor. But yeah, I always drink water and at least two huge glasses. So cheers. <laughs> So I am so excited. I recently went to the grocery store today and I am stocked up on produce. I also got some Fiji water. And so I'm going to show you what all I have here. I have tomatoes that I use for salad dressings. I got some avocados because I've been eating tahini and other sources of fat, but I'm really just been craving avocados lately. So I got four avocados. This one's riper than the other ones. I got two heirloom tomatoes. And these I already had. These are just on the vine tomatoes. I'm really, really interested in pretty much only eating heirloom tomatoes possibly in the future because I know that these bad boys are not hybrid. And whenever you see tomatoes like this or like this, they're hybrids but the heirlooms are the original mama jamas. So I'm really trying to eat more heirloom tomatoes and possibly only eat heirloom tomatoes in the future. Then I got a bunch of peaches. I have this whole platter here and then this plate here. And I have three mangoes that are ripening. Let's see here. This one's pretty much ripe. You see it's ripe when it's soft and you can almost puncture it. So you can see my thumbprint right there. So that one's ripe. And then I have bananas here, here, and here. And you might be looking at this and thinking, ew, those are rotten, Victoria. No, these are not rotten. These are perfectly ripe. They are speckled and they've, you know, their nutrition has really come to fruition. So I cannot wait to eat these bananas and smoothies or I just eat them whole most of the time. So yeah, this is my beautiful haul of fruits and vegetables. To the raw foods, I'm rebuilding myself. I feel like I'm a very intelligent person going down the very rare and royal road of actual purification of the body, heart, and mind. That's my personal path. If you don't understand that, that's fine. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so right now I'm making my morning smoothie. And what I'm doing is every day before I go to work, I make a smoothie because it's easy to digest first and foremost for me. And it's so easy, you know, it's you just you can be doing other things while also sipping on a beautiful, healthy, uh, life giving smoothie. So what I have in this particular one and this is a recipe that I did yesterday, and whenever I tasted it, I was like, oh my gosh, I just found paradise, because <laughs> it was so good. So I have three bananas in here. Yesterday, I believe I did four, but I only had three bananas today. And I'm also gonna put a little bit, probably a half a teaspoon of this barley grass powder. Now, I have found that this is very, very potent and very strong in its taste. So for someone that doesn't want an overpowering, kind of a bad taste, honestly, then just don't use too much. But yesterday I did about a half a teaspoon and I could barely taste it, but it was still giving me all of the beautiful nutrition that's in this barley grass juice powder, which is why I use it in the first place, you know? Sometimes to me, I'm willing to eat things that don't taste as great like this. Most things I eat are absolutely phenomenal to me, but um, you know, sometimes I'm willing to eat something that's not the best tasting because I know that it's giving my cells, you know, the juice <laughs> that it needs. So I'm gonna swivel over here to my beautiful bounty. <laughs> and along with the bananas in the smoothie, I'm gonna add about four peaches. And these are ripe and ready to go, but I got these yesterday and they're still pretty hard. They're softer than they were, but they're still pretty hard. And while I'm over here, I guess I'll just show you. I have some bananas that these are not ripe at all whatsoever. There's no speckles and these are still at least a couple days out to being ripe. But yeah, look at all this beautifulness. I love it. So I'm gonna make my smoothie and then I will show you the outcome. So I also added a little bit of this raw coconut water, about this much, this much. 
So yeah, I'm gonna blend this. And now my smoothie's done, and I put it in this cute little tumbler. Aren't these cool? I love all these cups with the cool designs and the straws. They're convenient and also fun to use. So that's my morning smoothie, and it's just a great breakfast. You know, a lot of times people eat really super heavy stuff for breakfast, and, you know, whenever you're sleeping, you're fasting in essence. And so whenever you wake up in the morning, you wanna first of all drink about two large glasses of water to flush the system. But also whenever you start to eat, whenever you're truly hungry, maybe three hours later, you need to eat water rich things as well to continue to flush the system after your fast that you had during uh, the night. That's why they call it break fast. You're breaking a fast. so. You don't really want to break your fast with a bagel and cream cheese because that's just going to clog you up, weigh you down, and you know clog all your, your kidneys and everything. So wouldn't you rather have this beautiful life-giving food in your system in the morning rather than something just really heavy? So that's my recommendation and now I'm going to pop this in the fridge and continue with my morning. Right, I'm back. It's the next morning and I'm making my smoothie today with just peaches. I have five peaches and a little bit of barley grass juice powder and then about this much of raw coconut water. Now I didn't put any bananas in this because the bananas I have are not quite ripe. Yes they're speckled and I probably could use them per se but I just really really like more speckles and more ripeness. These just aren't quite ready yet. So that's fine. I just use all peaches and I'm going to blend this up and it's going to be just as great. And it's probably even better for, well I know it's better for digestion because it's just one fruit. You know, when you mix bananas and peaches together, that's not necessarily the best food combination in terms of fruits in my opinion. So, you know, mono meals of one type of food, one fruit, is always best for digestion. So yes, this is my smoothie and now I'm gonna blend it up. Now I'm pouring my smoothie into my tumbler that I can take with me to work. And it's just easy, so easy to be healthy, you guys. Love it. Right. So tonight I'm having a fat-free dressing. I have mango red pepper, one beautiful dark red tomato. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. I have a carrot in there, if you can see it. Then I have some curry powder, some cayenne, and some apple cider vinegar. So this is just basic and easy, and this is gonna be a fabulous dressing. Oh yeah, look at how pretty this is. I'm gonna pour it into my bowl. It's kind of a dark red orange color. It's very, very pretty. It looks like French dressing that you'd buy in a grocery store that is full of chemicals, but this is so pure and so healthy and my body is just going to soak this up. Ooh, and I'm eating it with romaine tonight, so another great dinner. Okay, so I just cut up a bunch of bananas and I cut them in thin slices and I'm getting ready to dehydrate them on 110 here about 110 I have the Nesco food dehydrator I uh, won't be making any jerky in it <laughs> but I really love this dehydrator you just put it like this and then I put the lid on top and all you do is you take the plug and I'm gonna plug it in right down here and I put it on 110 and then it immediately turns on so I'm going to dehydrate these overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to try out the raw vegan cinnamon roll recipe that's been rolling around the raw food community lately uh, on YouTube and stuff. So I got the recipe from Victoria Arnstein and I cannot wait to try it tomorrow. So I'm dehydrating these right now and then I will get back with you tomorrow morning and show you how they turned out. Okay, so I literally just woke up and I immediately checked the dehydrator 
and this is what they turned out. So, like I said, I did this on about 110, but honestly, these feel really, really warm, and some of them are borderline crispy, so I think next time I'm going to do 105 degrees, which is better anyway, right? It's lower heat. Maybe even 95, because this dehydrator has a 95 degree option. But these, all, these, a lot of these did turn out pretty good. Um, I tried rolling one, and it, it's going to roll perfectly like a cinnamon roll. So these are almost perfect, but I think just to make me feel better, I'm going to use less heat next time because I'm so not used to like eating something that's warm. Like these are warm, which, you know, is good if you're transitioning or your kids are transitioning, and um, ideally, <laughs> and you need to kind of use a recipe that is warm and sweet and tasty and although these might look a little bit weird right now once I get the date sauce and everything together and these rolled up like cinnamon rolls they're gonna be really really good and they're gonna look a lot better than they do right now <laughs> but uh, another thing you can do is do banana chips and cut these super small and maybe even cook them a little bit longer to make them crispy and that's a good transition recipe as well you know so yeah this is what they look like and of course I will show you the end product of the raw vegan cinnamon roll so I'm pretty excited about this all right stay tuned wow so I am really pleasantly surprised with how these cinnamon rolls came out so forgive me how these look I am a novice raw vegan cinnamon roll maker <laughs> but I took the dehydrated bananas and I tried to form the outside of the cinnamon roll first and they just, they, they go wherever you put them and they mold into whatever shape. I was just so surprised how easy it was to make these and then I coiled up another one and put it in the middle and maybe on some of them I put another one like in the middle of the center and the outside and then I took my sauce, my caramel sauce which I used 15 dates, about two cups of raw coconut water, and a couple dashes of cinnamon, and oh, and about half a teaspoon of raw carob powder, but that's optional, you don't really have to do that. And this is how it turned out, and I actually have quite a bunch left over, but not enough bananas to make more. I only dehydrated about three bananas, so darn, I should have made more. but these don't these like when you're really not looking do they look like real cinnamon rolls i mean i'm so excited and then i also put a couple dashes of cinnamon on top whenever i was done i'm not sure if you can see but these are so cool and you know it's just something great you can take to a party or just whatever you're doing or just eat them yourself i mean these are healthy and yes the bananas were dehydrated but at a very low temperature only 110 and so there were no enzymes harmed in the making of these cinnamon rolls. <laughs> so I'm really excited and yeah, I just wanted to show you this. If you guys try these out, let me know how you liked them. So, all right, cool.